Welcome to our lecture online. Before I decide to take our stove, our gas stove, and, and rip it out of the kitchen and put it in front of the curb saying, free, take it, I don't want it anymore, and replacing it with a solar cooker in our backyard and telling my wife to stop using the gas stove and start using that cooker in the backyard, uh, let's find out how much it costs to boil one liter of water starting at 20 degrees Celsius and trying to get it up to the boiling point. And again, we're assuming 50% efficiency. We're using a burner that gives us 10,000 BTUs per hour. We've got the information about the BTUs, but we need a little bit more information. So I took my gas bill from last month. I took a look at it and we're buying what we call therms on the gas bill. I wasn't quite sure what a therm was, but each therm cost about a dollar. And then I went and looked it up and the therm is about 100 cubic feet which is equivalent to an energy of 100,000 BTUs. Let's just keep the numbers really simple. All right, so now let's figure out how much it costs to boil that pot. So first, what we need to do is figure out how many BTUs we need to boil that water. So the energy required, energy required, and of course we have to keep in mind uh, the efficiency, right? So we'll take care of that in just a moment. The energy required is equal to mc delta t of course that is equal to dq and we can call that the energy required and in this case that is equal to 1000 grams for a liter of water uh, that will give us one calorie uh, per gram per celsius degree and then the difference in temperature is 80 celsius degrees and of course we don't want calories we want btus so we have to convert that to btus and so here's a conversion factor so that means we need BTUs at the top, calories at the bottom, one BTU, 252 calories. So that tells us how many BTUs we need to boil that water. So 1,000 uh, times 80 divided by 252, and that gives us 317 BTUs. So that's equal to 317 BTUs. And of course, we need twice as much because we're not 100% efficient. So in essence, we need to multiply that times two, uh, times two. We need to multiply this times two because the lack of efficiency times two. Multiply this times two. And uh, that, if we multiply it times two, times two, we get 635 BTUs. 635 BTUs. That's the energy required to take one liter of water from 20 degrees Celsius all the way to 100 degrees Celsius. All right, how much will that cost? So that means that the cost is equal to, uh, let's see here, the number of BTUs needed multiply times the cost per BTU, cost per BTU. All right, so we need 635 BTUs, and we need to multiply the times the cost per BTU, which is $1 per 100,000 BTUs. Now notice the BTUs will cancel out, we're left with dollars. So divide that by 100,000 equals, and it looks like that would be equal to 0.006 dollars, which is equal to 0.6 cents. So that means it costs a little bit over a half a penny to take a liter of water from the tap at room temperature and get it up to boiling. Hmm, that's not a lot of money. I think I'm going to let my wife keep the gas stove and we'll wait a little longer on that solar oven in the backyard. So I think we can still afford to boil water using our gas stove. So our wife is safe. We can keep the oven. No, we'll be eating cereal. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Make my life a whole lot easier. Well, you didn't keep your stove. Yeah. <laughs>